The memories we just had, I think, just so much pride in our job are painful. Corporal Tammy Hollingsworth says she feels betrayed by the RCMP. We both dedicated our lives, not just to the job, but just overall. Two years ago, she and her husband, Inspector Suki Manj, were suspended for their handling of a romantic relationship. It involved two employees under Manj's command. We'd look at each other every morning and we'd sit on our, on our carpet and we'd cry for hours. Manj, the officer in charge of the Lloydminster Alberta detachment, followed policy, repeatedly reporting the two employees, one an officer, the other a female civilian employee. The RCMP accused Manj and Hollingsworth of abusing their power to get intimate details of the private life of the officer involved. He was married to a friend of theirs. All we ever did was the right thing that, at the time with the information we had. The RCMP didn't see it that way, transferring them back to B.C., then suspending both of them. Your whole being is taken away from you. Um, your, 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 web, your, your service pistol, your, your badge, your ID. And for an RCMP officer, for any officer for, for that matter, it's a huge deal. And to, be, to know that it's happening to your spouse, your spouse who had nothing to do with it. This month, after two years, the allegations against Manj were thrown out. Hollingsworth has also been cleared, finally returning to work this summer. The whole experience, though, has brought them shame and alienation. What they've done to us is, is, is unforgivable. Hollingsworth hopes the lawsuit will stop this from happening again. I feel that we need to take it to the next level and stand up for ourselves. Manj says he may launch his own lawsuit as well. Well, this for me is not about the RCMP being a bad organization. I think it's, it's poor leadership within the organization. I believe in the majority of people that do the job, that put on their uniform. Despite that, the reminders will remain packed away for now. And the RCMP has yet to respond to the lawsuit.